is Jennifer with Mud Hen Clay and Art Studio, and I am coming to you today to bring you a video on how to make this cute clay pinch pot fish. So if you have your kit, you'll have a needle tool, a scoring tool, the one that looks like a little rake. You'll have your template pieces. So you'll have a tail, your fins, and then you have uh, your little eyebrows if you want to do the eyebrow cutouts and then the little eyelashes. So those are your template pieces, so you'll want to set those aside. And then you'll, you should also have a rolling pin. So if you're using any materials from your house, I just want you to know you should uh, just have them just for clay. So if you have a couple extra rolling pins in your kitchen, go ahead and designate one just for crafts and clay. Um, try not to put it back in your kitchen to use once you use it for clay. Um, you'll also have a mat, so you'll want to use a mat to keep your table and surfaces clean from the clay. And also it keeps the clay from sticking to your table, so you'll definitely want a mat which is included in your kit. So you'll also have uh, um, some clay. You'll get a couple pounds of clay in your kit as well, so you'll take a piece of your clay. I'd say for your fish you can cut the piece of clay that you have in half and then cut that piece in half again, okay? So we'll set aside one of those pieces and wrap up the rest of your clay so it doesn't dry out. All right, so first for our fish body, the main piece of the body is created using the pinch pot method. So you'll wanna take a piece of your clay and then just pound it out into a ball shape. This is easier to just put the clay and press on it rather than trying to squish it like this, which just misshapens it. So you'll just hit the clay and tap it into a ball shape. And what you're doing is thinning the walls of this clay. So as you can see with the, the fish, the walls are about an even thickness and then we're gonna squish the pinch pot. So it's important, this is the, the main part of your fish body. So I think that looks like a good uniform thickness around the piece of the clay. Okay, so see the thickness of those walls? And if you get them too thin and you overwork them, it's gonna be really hard to work with your fish. So you do want to make sure that you have a nice uniform thickness. Now the outside, I'm just gonna carefully, with my hand, hold on to this. And you can pat these edges, these little bumps and lumps. Okay. smooth those okay and then what you're gonna want to do is take and figure out how you want your little fish to set so I think that that looks good right there okay all right so we've got our little fish here so I'm just gonna set this guy's side. And then we're going to create the, the fins and the little tail, the eyeballs, all the little pieces. But first I want to make a, an area that I can roll out this other piece of clay. So this was the other half of the clay that we cut apart. And so what you're gonna do is take your little rolling pin and there is a trick for rolling out clay. You're gonna go from the center and roll out as opposed to rolling back and forth quickly so you'll just go from the center out. Again, make sure you use your foam mat so that the clay does not stick to your table. You'll have a mess. Oh, there we go. All right, so good thickness is about a 
eighth of an inch. You do not want to have too thick of pieces. Your, your fish will just be way too heavy. Um, and so what you're going to do is take your pieces that are in your kit and on your kit it marks, I have marked how many to cut. So we're going to cut two of these guys here. Your needle tool goes nicely through the clay. And then we'll go ahead and do another one. And I'm just gonna turn it upside down so that we can use most of our clay that's rolled out to try and avoid having to roll out another piece. Okay, so we have two, one for our tongue and one for our tail. And then we're gonna have two eyebrows. These are only if you want the eyebrows. So this is this lovely little shape right here. Okay, so we've got two eyebrows, and now if you want these cute little eyelashes here, you can cut two of these. And there we go. These are fun little projects. You can have these be uh, for a sponge holder, like a little fish for a sponge holder or a soap holder uh, for your bathroom. You can put just a piece of soap in there. Um, can hold any little items that you might have. Super cute little fish. Okay, very popular for the kids. Actually, adults really like this project too. So when your fish is finished, uh, what you'll want to do is let it dry out for about a week, then you can bring it back to the studio. Here's for the fins right here. You can bring it back to the studio and I'll fire it for you, okay? Now afterwards, you'll get back a white bisqued fish. If you want to pick up a paint kit, I do have paint kits for sale. You could do the same thing. Pick up a kit, pick up your project, paint at home, bring your piece back, and then I will clear glaze it here at the studio, fire it, and it's ready for pickup again. Okay, so here's all of your pieces, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this clay off. Now, if you went through your clay, all of your pieces should come off. Or come through, I mean. So you can also take. So these scraps, you can take and just squeeze them back together. Now I will say this, um, you do need to prepare this clay again before you can use it because now there's gonna be a bunch of air pockets folded inside of it. So if you were just to let your kids kind of make some type of creation, I wouldn't be able to fire this because the clay hasn't been wedged. So you would want to work out all of your air pockets before you create something new out of it, okay? But go ahead and take this and we will use that another time. So for now, you've got your pieces of clay and you can decide to uh, put a texture in them or leave them without texture. So this fish has a stamped tail, fins, a stamped tongue and some little texture on the eyebrows as well. And so you can choose to do that. And I have some different stamps here. You can get stamps at your local Michaels. Maybe you have stamps. If you don't have stamps, you can use things in nature. Um, leaves, some leaves that have a really nice uh, raised, raised lines on them would be nice. You can use things like doilies, um, beads. It's up to you. Or you can leave them plain. You can also draw your own type of lines in here. But remind, remind your kids that the needle tools do cut through the clay, okay? So you would want to be careful with drawing your texture on.
Okay, so you'll take a dish of water. Make sure you have a dish of water. Piece of clay on the floor. Okay, and with your finger, just go ahead and go around all these little edges. Okay, so you'll go around all these little edges to make sure the edges are smoothed. And in your kit, you also have a paper towel. It's nice to keep it handy just to dry your fingers with. Okay, so now if you're going to do a stamped texture, you can do that at this time. So for my fin, I'm gonna go ahead and use these lines. Now when you do use your texture rollers, um, and I'll go ahead and uh, send a link along with this um, if you want to get some of these texture rollers. I get them on Amazon, I can send you the link for them. So I have some texture there. And I'm going to go ahead and use this doily pattern here. Really cute little sweet fins here for our fish. And our little eyelashes, I'm going to keep plain. And for our eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and match our fins. How cute. Okay, so those will be cute little eyebrows. So let's go ahead and bring back our body. All right, so here's the body for our fish. So we'll go ahead and decide, let me turn this around. We'll decide where our fin is going to go. And your scoring tool is needed because if you're going to uh, attach two pieces of clay, you have to do what's called scoring. Scoring is making these little marks here, little scratch marks in the clay. So what else can you use for this? You could use a toothpick, you could use an old fork, something like that. So on my tail, I want to have texture on both sides. So now I'm going to take that roller, go on the other side as well. Okay, so I'm going to also score right down that tail, that little tail, and then add my slit, or you can, you'll can you be using water. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and attach those two pieces. With my finger, I'm going to smooth those little edges, and then with your water brush, smooth it more. Now something to uh, with to remember with the water, I want you to let your kids know um, if you're working with them with this, that less water is better with these projects. If they get too much water going on, it's just going to make a slippery mess and it's really hard to hold on to the clay. If that happens, no problem. Just take your paper towel and just dab the clay. Not a big deal. It's very common for kids to use lots and lots of water, some adults too, and they just don't need it with this project, okay? So we have our tail attached, okay? However you leave it is how it's going to freeze in time. All right, and then we'll go ahead and add our little fins. So you can have fins coming out like this, you can have fins coming backward and curving in. This is gonna be the creative part that's really fun. So let everybody use their imagination and just kind of be fun with it. Before they attach them, they can place them wherever they want. Now, your clay will stick at this point like this. They'll stay there right now, but as soon as they dry, they're going to pop off. So the scoring part is super important. Anytime you attach pieces of clay together, again, I can't say that enough because if you bring me your project and your pieces have all fallen apart, it's usually because they're not attached properly, okay? Okay, also um, just press gently on your clay to make sure that there is no air trapped between your pieces and the clay. So here on my little fish body, I'm gonna bring my my little fin out with a little movement. Yeah, I like that. Okay. 
again, dry off your brush and just smooth those edges. Okay, we'll turn our fish and attach our other fin. This is a nice time to relax and enjoy working with your hands, doing something creative. Try not to plan anything too close to this activity, maybe a good after lunch activity. Okay, so then you're gonna take the tongue after you've got your little fins attached, you're gonna take your tongue and with your scoring tool, you can hear my little kiddos in the background, they love this fish. You're just gonna score this tongue score where it's going to go and then you're going to apply your water great and then you're going to press that tongue into the mouth there we go and give it a little press to get all of that air out and bring it down and then you're going to take your your brush and just brush around the outside of the tongue. Very good. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and take some pinches of clay, just some little pinches of clay, and you're going to create some little balls for the eyeball. Okay. And then we're going to make some little raised little blackened dots for the eyes. Okay. And then we'll put those together on top of this little fish face. There we go. And remember, you need to score the two pieces that are going to be going together. Excellent. Water here. And then you'll go ahead and put the pieces together. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then let's score those little corneas on. Great. Put some little water on there. Now this, at this point, you can have the eyes kind of go off. You could have one lazy eye, you could have cross-eyed, you could do whatever you want with these eyes. It's your creation. Now for the eyebrows, so I have my pieces that I've cut, or I'm sorry, not the eyebrows, the eyelashes. And I'm just gonna pinch the edges so they're not so thick. And then where they are going to attach to the, to the back of the eye, and also on the actual eyeball, I'll just rough it up a bit. So I'll just rough up the back and the very bottom where they're going to attach. And just light water, you don't need too much. <laughs> We're gonna curve, come here. We're gonna curve it around, that's Grayson. He's. There we go, and let's curve this around and attach it. Good job. Okay, so then take your brush and just brush the lines where the pieces join together. Okay, so we have some cute little eyelashes there. And then we're going to take our little eyebrows that we've put texture on and just kind of curve them how you'd like them to go and then we'll attach them. Make adjustments so mine is a little bit long. I'm just gonna trim it. Here we go. So you'll score where you're going to put the pieces. Add your water. So now we have this cute little fish that what you'll do now is let it set out to dry. It'll take about a week to dry. Then I want you to bring it back to me and I'll fire it. After it's fired, you can then pick up a paint kit if you choose to. You could also choose to uh, paint your fish with some uh, acrylic paints. 
But if you choose to, to glaze it with some pottery glazes, then you can pick up a paint kit for me. You can buy it on the website and then pick it up with your fish. Bring your fish back and I will refire it again and also put a clear glaze on it so it's nice and bright and shiny and then you'll be having your finished fish. All right, so thanks for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day.